All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Strength and Power Zone. In this video, I want to talk about Big Rami. So it almost seems like every week leading up to the Olympia, there's some kind of new information, some new pictures, or a new interview of Big Rami. And this week, we have two of those things. So number one, we have a new interview with Big Rami, which I almost don't even want to get to because Generation Iron posted it. And you guys know how I feel about Generation Iron. But it is a good interview, and it is worth watching. So I will say, if you have not seen the recent interview with Big Rami on Generation Iron, go check that out because the interview is done in English without a translator, and that is the interesting part of that interview. And the second thing that happened this week um, as more recent photos of uh, Big Rami have surfaced, where again, he's looking freaky, as he usually is leading up to the Olympia, and that has generated a lot of conversation about the potential for him to win the Mr. Olympia. So the best pictures of Big Rami recently you can find on Louis Marco's Instagram. He has the widest variety of them. Um, he's got a couple back shots. I think he's got like three different variations of the back pose, and then three different variations of the front pose. So you get a very good view I'm um, a big Rami from both angles, so check out Louis Marco's Instagram for these photos. And of course, I have them right here in this video. And Louis Marco also recently made a video about this, and he I've talked to Louis Marco on Instagram a couple of times, and he's definitely um, of the opinion that Big Rami can win the Olympia and potentially will win the Olympia this year. So he's definitely a huge fan of Big Rami and a big believer in his ability to win it. Um, and I've always said that I disagree with that, especially for this year in 2017. Do I think Big Rami can win the Olympia down the line? Absolutely, yes. Do I think Big Rami is going to win the Olympia this year in 2017? Absolutely, no. And I'm going to tell you guys why right now. So I made a video a while ago, maybe a couple months ago now, titled Why Big Rami Can't Win the Olympia 2017. And it's not sheerly because of his physique. I think one of the problems he has is his conditioning. His conditioning is either off um, or it's 100% on point, like I think it was when he won that New York Pro that first New York pro that he won, if he could bring that conditioning to the Olympia stage, I think he could win the Olympia, but he hasn't brought that level of conditioning since to the Olympia. So conditioning is one problem, but the second problem that I think is one of the biggest problems is his ability to speak English, and that's why the interview with Generation Iron is so important. So in that interview, he does the entire interview in English, which I think was obviously trying to prove a point that he can speak English which I'll give him props. He is doing what he needs to do. I think learning the English language is probably one of the most important things Big Rami can do. Because I think in terms of his physique, his physique alone absolutely has the potential to win an Olympia. But like I've said before, and I've said this many, many times, the winner of the Mr. Olympia has to be a good representative for the sport. The main demographic for the sport is going to be people that speak English. And so a Mr. Olympia winner that speaks English is going to be the best representative for the sport. At the end of the day, the IFBB is a business and they want to make the best move for business. So like, like we all know, politics always play into these decisions, whether it be at the Olympia, the Arnold classic or any other pro show. And if you don't believe these guys behind the scenes are thinking about when they, when they select the winner of the Olympia, if you don't think they're thinking about what is the best move for business when they're making that selection, you're crazy. Because you got to remember, Mr. Olympia, he has to do interviews. He has to go on pretty much a world tour, visit all these countries. He's got to interact with his fans on social media. He's got to promote the IFBB and bodybuilding. That is the job of Mr. Olympia. So do you really think they're going to pick someone who does not speak English at all and can't communicate to the main fan base of bodybuilding? Um, so that's definitely something that plays into that decision. And that's one of the things that I think was holding Rami back. So the speculation now is, is Rami's English good enough to win the Olympia? So I stand by my opinion that Big Rami will not win the 2017 Olympia. Yes, he can speak English, but is it very, is it good English? It, some of it I didn't even understand. I watched the entire interview and I watched it twice. And there are definitely some points in that interview where I can't even understand the words that he's saying. So his English is definitely getting better. He's obviously making the attempt to learn it. Um, so I got to give him props for that. That's awesome that he's trying to learn it. He recognizes that he needs to. And I think he will win the Olympia in the future. I'm going to go on record and say that. But as far as the 2017 Olympia is concerned, I do not think Big Rami is going to win it. I do not think his English is good enough. And I do not think his conditioning will be good enough either. Like I said, I've said this many times before as well. Every single year leading up to the Olympia that Big Rami has been in the Olympia, you know, leading up to it, these photos come out videos come out 
information comes out. Uh, he's weighing 350 pounds in the offseason and still has abs, whatever the case may be. There's always some kind of crazy pictures, videos, updates that gets everybody talking about Big Rami leading up to the Olympia. And every year, Big Rami's placing is still kind of a disappointment. So if I were a betting man, I'd be willing to bet money that Big Rami is not going to win at the 2017 Olympia. That's my opinion. I'm going to stand by it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.